Welcome back. We are here on Etero looking at the cryptocurrency market. This is going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, January 14th, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can get access to our full technical analysis, our signal service, and also our online trains and courses. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at Bitcoin. As you can see, we have rallied from the 20 exponential moving average. And now we're trading at 37,470. And yes, the 20 exponential is holding. That is basically um, the bottom of this market. When we fall towards the 20, expect this to be a buying opportunity. And uh, as long as we are trading above it, this is going to rally, uh, continue rallying. So at this point, the target is $40,000, and that just sounds crazy for Bitcoin. It has actually just doubled in only, well, um, half a month. So, so that is fairly, fairly crazy. Uh, but the 40, uh, 40 uh, is the target at this point. There's going to be some kind of uh, resistance when we get to this area. We are going to be fairly overstretched. So we are, the RSI is at the 66 at this current stage. Uh, other technical indicators are turning around, so that is a bullish shine. So yes, 40 is most likely where we are heading at this point. If we manage to break um, these previous highs here, 41.797, then we are going probably all the way down to all the way up to 45,000. And that is, um, even though that sounds crazy, that is what this market is doing at this point. Pullbacks towards the 20 exponential that are basically buying opportunities. If you look at the weekly, we are still fairly overstretched. We need to look at the Bollinger Band as well. So we're still trading outside of the Bollinger Band in the weekly chart. So it is still a very, 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 um, very risky trade. To buy it here is it's um, fairly nuts. Um, it has to fall all the way down here to the 20 moving, uh, 20 exponential moving average. That is 21,000, uh, roughly 500, before I would consider this to be um, a less riskier trade to take. So that is basically where this market is at this current stage. So let's look at Ethereum. We can see that very similar thing here. We have found uh, major support here at the 20 moving average, the middle of the bullish band. And now we are rallying from, we're rallying at 11, uh, 1133. And we're most likely heading towards the 1250. That's where we are going to find some kind of resistant. Uh, technical indicators are all turning around. There's not a lot of room to the upside. However, most of this cryptocurrency area, cryptocurrencies, they tend to go very high in the RSI up to the high 80s, even the uh, mid uh, 90s before they basically break down. If you look at the weekly chart for the for Ethereum, you can see that we are way outside of the Bollinger Band. This is still a really, really uh, risky trade to do, even to buy it here. A pullback towards uh, 640, that is where, well, technically this trade doesn't become as risky and is at this point buy it here is just begging for massive amounts of, uh, of trouble but people are doing it uh, they're willing to take that risk so at some point this is going to fall apart 20 exponential in the in the daily chart both for Bitcoin and for Ethereum are holding as long as that is the case we are going to go gradually higher so let's look at XRP So as you can see, we can look at the daily chart and nothing is really happening here. It has basically fallen back to the same level as it was prior to this massive increase. This was, uh, well, basically nothing happened here. And you can also see that the Bollinger Bands are tightening. That showing that it's going to be, or is there's less volatility in this market. Uh, we are trading just at the 200 moving average. We need to break above the 20 and the 200 moving average before we go higher and break below that means that we'll go significantly lower. Uh, the real sign for bullishness in the market is when we are going to trade above the 50 moving average. 
So that is, when we do that, that's an indication that this is ready to go significantly higher. At this current stage, technical indicators are, they are more bullish than they are bearish. So MACD is bullish, the C, stochastic is constant signal is bullish, the RSI is bullish, and the, R, um, the CCI, I mean, sorry, is bullish, and the RSI is flat at this point. But this is just a waiting game. Just see what basically happens here. So let's look at Litcoin. Well, it found support here just above the 100, uh, the, the 50 moving average at 111, and then it has rallied to 134. So at this point, if we stay above the 20 exponential, then we are going higher. Our target here is 174. These previous highs here will run into the top of the bullish band down and then we'll basically head back down. Technical indicators, uh, technical indicators are turning around. Uh, so for example, the stochastic and the CCI and the, the RSI is flat and there's a lot of room to the upside while the MACD is, uh, is, is basically bearish at this point. So this is a buying opportunity with a stop loss underneath. Um, yes, it is basically probably most likely heading towards 170, uh, 476, give or take. So let's look at NEO. So it did not fall as drastically as the other cryptocurrencies. Uh, even though there, it was very overstretched, it uh, did not fall as aggressively as the other ones. Whether or not that is going to occur later on, um, that is to be seen. Uh, otherwise, the technical indicators here are, well, fairly mixed. RSI is flat, it's fairly high. The CCI is flat, the stochastic is flat, and the MACD is bullish at this point. So it looks like we're going to make an arc here down towards the 20 exponential before we go higher. Um, if we rally from here, we'll hit the top of the Bollinger Band and we'll see another downfall. But I would be interested in buying into this if we fell towards the 20 exponential. That's roughly 19 and 29. Um, and uh, that's probably where most buyers will come back in, probably around $20. That's where the buying will start and uh, with a stop loss right underneath the 20 exponential moving average. So, hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing. Hit the like button, bell button to see our newest videos and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.